Welcome to the Gilinor Games. 12 of your favorite content creators have been split up into two teams, Team Europe and Team North America. On this season, we're going to find out who has what it takes to survive until the end. Each week, the teams will be put to the test through challenges, and each week, one person will get eliminated. There's no room for error. Let's see who's up for the challenge. If you'd like to support the Gilinor Games, please consider giving the video a like and subscribing to my channel. If you head to twitch.tv soup, you can also subscribe for free with Twitch Prime or a standard Twitch subscription. Both help the continued production of Gilinor Games. Thank you. Welcome back to another episode of Gilinor Games. Yay! <laughs> Team Europe, last week you won the Olmskuld Challenge and eliminated a Team NA player from the game. So this week, you guys have a one player advantage. Coming into this week, we are feeling pretty good. We won the first challenge, NA has one less player, we couldn't have asked for a better start. Let's now complete Soup's next challenge and take another win. Before we get started, I have some unfortunate news. As you can see, Team EU is missing a player. On the way to the challenge today, Solo Mission accidentally kicked his router and shut off his internet, and he's currently unable to log in and will not make today's challenge. This means Cloud Badass will once again be filling in this week for Team EU. Oh really? He kicked his router? You think we believe that? We're barely into the season, and Europe is already desperately relying on their sub to fill in for them. We're not here to play that dirty game. We don't play like that. Sometimes you just feel like f***ing eating your router. Mine sometimes flashes at me and I think, f***ing come on then, are you starting? Team EU, you guys have now used your substitute twice. You only have one available substitution left for the rest of the season. Last week's challenge was an incredibly difficult challenge that required skill, teamwork, and coordination, and a tough PVM challenge. This week, all of those things will also be required except this time, in PvP. In today's challenge, you guys will be playing Continental Conflict. Using standard tribrid gear, you guys will be fighting in the wilderness in a 5 vs 5 best of 5 PvP challenge. To win a round, simply kill every member of the opposing team. The early rounds will be fought in the wilderness, and the final rounds will be fought in clan wars. The first team to win 3 rounds wins today's challenge and is safe from elimination. Now Team EU, since you guys won the last challenge, you'll get ping advantage for the first two rounds since the fights will take place on a European world. The next two fights will take place on a US world, and if it comes to it, the final round will take place on a European world. Since you guys also have an extra player, this means one person will be able to sit out every round. The player who sits out will still be able to communicate with your team and try to help them win the round. However, the same person cannot sit out twice. Team NA, would you like to sub in Alkin for this week's challenge? I guess that's a no. Sorry Alkin. You guys have 15 minutes to gear up and strategize, and then we fight. I'll see you guys in the wild. Uh, I thought we would do well, although I do know that a lot of their team is PvPers. Uh, I thought we would do pretty well. We got framed on our team. He can carry us pretty hard. We have Kemp Q. He's up all the time for LMS. I have some Clan Wars experience, so I kind of know what I'm doing in a multi-fight. To be honest, I was absolutely shitting myself because I am one of one of the worst PKers known to man. Solar Mission is a is a bad person to miss out on the team, but if anyone can fill the shoes, it's going to be Cloud Badass. I think in the back of our mind, if framed is ever an option, we should take it. I, I think whoever is the person that is being piled, and one of us is definitely going to be the first target. Whoever's getting piled, I hope it's me. I'm going to push myself okay. forward to try and get that first pile. Um, and then I'm going to try and drag as far northwest as I can. Just make sure you get that first freeze on whoever you're piling, yeah. and then cool, cool, cool. Going into a PvP challenge, we know that we have the stronger PvP community in the team as well, so I felt very confident. Our plan was simple, kill framed, and then they don't have any color. Alright, so I'm gonna be honest, mm -hmm. I think they're gonna pile me. Um, so we're going to want to go for the weakest links first. They might be going for me, but they want, like, we want to go for the weakest links first. Let, yeah. Let's focus on strategy and take I'll be the, I'll be the caller. All right. We need to get so, our specs out right away. So yeah. let's first range one of these people as we rush in, freeze them. What we're going to do is we're going to, like, we can't be next to each other at any point in time. We have to spread out, okay? If you can, dump your DDSs, but you don't want to get too close to them because if you get too close, then uh, you're going to get piled. And then make sure that you are trying to bolt as well. So we're, we're going to be primarily ranging and uh, maging. 
but like we are going to all try to pile uh tanzu right away that is going to be the main goal and then the next person we go for is guns chili then the next person that we go for um is going to be cloud badass and then uh c engineer then race yeah so if you if your hp is going down guys it means they're targeting you and get into your tank gear right away kevin was our default caller he just took on the role and he did a really good job our first strategy for the first round take out the weak links the people that can't tank they don't know how to combo eat or put on their tank gear what have you so that was our first strategy All right, guys, here we go. The team that kills all the members of the other team first wins the round. Pertoso will be sitting out in the first fight for Team EU. All right, everyone, Angler, Super Combat, Fringe Pot. When he starts counting down, when he gets to that two, everyone to make sure you move quickly. We're going for Framed, he's second top on their side. Three, two, one, go. Alright, get on frame, get on frame. Alright, I got framed, I got framed, I got framed. Everyone focus framed, he's right in the middle. Everyone focus framed in the middle, boys. I'm done. I already got killed. Come on, get a DDS. Go! Oh! Everyone on Jimmy, everyone on Jimmy, right next to us. Jimmy next to next to the trees next to me. They're very much on me. I'm dead. I'm out. Alright, everyone's still on Jimmy on the trees, boys. North south, north south. Smite, smite. Oh, I'll see you later. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, okay, sorry, Nick. Fab, sorry, Fab, sorry, Fab. Oh, good. I got Nicky, get on Nicky. In Deborah. Okay, he's out, he's out, he's out. Get the uh, get engineer at the north. C engineer north. He's, he's, half, he's half HP. C engineer north. Engineer north. He's, he's up the tree, north tree. Uh, hit barrages, yeah. hit barrages, hit barrages oh, on him. No, we can't, we can't. Hit barrages. Everyone, Paul and Devermont. If we're all on him, you should be dying a lot faster than this. Everyone on Devermont. After this, Zulu. See you later, Everyone Cam, on mate. Zulu, boys. Everyone on Zulu here, fellas. Smite's up. It's just Zulu left now. No, oh, there's Nikki over there. There's one person left, Nikki. Blitz is in range up oh, there's engineer. food. There's food under South Sea Engineer. There's food under Sea Engineer. Oh, they're focusing me. South, southeast, Southeast. Uh, look Southeast on Sea Engineer. Just keep hitting him. Keep hitting Sea Engineer. He's South. He's all the way South. Everyone hit Sea Engineer South. Everyone hit Sea Engineer South. I'm being focused. I'm being focused. South. I'm being focused. Hit Sea Engineer South. Hit Sea Engineer South. I need, I need you guys to freeze these guys. I'm getting focused right now. I'm being focused really hard right now. Is anybody alive? Uh, it's just you and the uh, Flutton. No. Just, I, need, I just need you to main freeze. I just need you to freeze that all of them because they're all focusing me. All right, I got Zulu all the way over here to the uh, to the east, boys. Hey, we're doing really good, Zulu. Everyone on Zulu right now. Do what you can. Just do what you can. Yeah. Yeah, it's four v one. If you want to just go down, you can. <laughs> it's four v one. I'm about to get this KO. Going for the DDS for the KO. No. And she's dead. Hey, we lost one person. Good shit, boys. That's good. Really good. Uh, I got piled, game. right? Team Europe, you guys win the first fight. 15,000 death runes. See, engineer. Hey. We got some 6k blood runes. Hey, this this is a tournament world. The loot, the loot means nothing. Man, there's a lot of loot here. B ring as well. Uh, Okay, enjoy the loot, Tom. Team NA, Team EU, you guys now have five minutes to strategize for the next fight, and then we're going to meet back in this spot. All right, any improvements we can make? Uh, from my tactical analysis from the side, I did see okay. Dave drop very quickly. He could have ate a couple more for you. <laughs> that, all I was doing was eating your fucking... You filed me! What am I going to do? quicker. Oh, <laughs> so after we won the first game, I brought the suggestion to all the guys in the team um, I said at the moment, we're on air ping, which gives us the advantage. So I volunteered to sit knowing that I had that sort of vocal attitude to call. If we won that game, perfect, we go 2-0 up. If we didn't win that game, at least I knew I would be back in for the next round and I wouldn't be out on foreign soil on American servers. Jim, how fast did you die, man? <laughs> how fast did I, get, I die? Yeah. I had Rakesy and C-Engineer using 
dumping specs on me, so I was gone right after you, pretty much. Uh, I figured we would take them out faster than that, so we gotta obviously change the strategy up. So now we just gotta hit Rakesy first. If we hit Rakesy and then we hit uh, C Engineer, then it should be a lot better. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So yeah, Ra we'll go for Rakesy and then we can go for C Engineer, and then everybody else will just be fucking putty. I, I would say the majority of people on our team aren't really PKers, and they're especially not multi clanners. I'm not even a multi clanner, so like I, I would say not none of us really have that much experience, you know, multi clanning. So it's it's pretty hard to actually you know plan around that. But we pretty much just wanted to you know take out the worst players first, and that didn't work. So we want to take out the best players. All right, Europe is up 1-0, and A, you've got to step it up. Go. All right, Rexy is northwest. Rexy is northwest. Everyone look north. north, north, north. He's, far, he's far west, he's far west, he's far west, he's far west, he's far west. Look, look, west. look all the way west. Him. Focus him, he's far look west. Look west, look west. Endeavorment's right in the middle, boys. Endeavorment's right in the middle. All right, they're focusing me, boys. They're focusing me, so I'm not going to be talking very much. Uh, framed is in the back, framed is in the back line, yeah. all the way back. Get framed, get framed, everybody get framed. Look, Rakesy in the middle, look, Rakesy in the middle, Rakesy in the middle. Everyone should be in the middle on Rakesy. Everyone should be on Rakesy right now, he's dead. Northwest, everyone go northwest, everyone go northwest. Right, he's brutal, catch the freeze, out, catch the freeze. He's brutal down, he's running side face, he's running side face, catch the freeze. Yeah, I felt very good about winning the first one. I felt very confident. Me and Jimmy, he started talking a bit of trash against me, so I decided to pile him no matter what. Catch the freeze, get on him. Get on him, guys. You have to catch the freeze. You have to catch the freeze. My team was on killing frame for the entire fight. I was just killing Jimmy because he was talking so much trash. Okay, get on him, get on him. Keep the pressure on. Right. Boys, come on, who wants it next? Get on Jimmy, northwest, get on Jimmy, northwest, he's northwest, get on Jimmy. Catch the freeze and then nearly. He's running ace, he's running ace. I'm froze. Get on him, get on him, get on him, get on him, south. C Engineer had a, had a target on my head, that guy was coming for me left and right, and that dude, all he knows is PvP, he lives in a PvP world on a hardcore Iron Man with a one bill bounty on his head, he's a psychopath. So that guy coming up and attacking me, that's one hell of a thing to deal with. Get, get him, 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 He's so close to dead, he's so close to dead. Hit him, hit him, hit him, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. He's redemptioning, he's so low. He's dead, okay, nice. Okay, uh, gun chili, gun, gun chili. I'd fap, I'd he's frozen, he's frozen, he's frozen. Mystic, he's frozen. Hit, I'd fap. Okay, they're choosing a new target, okay. Gun chili, put your tank on and just start brewing. Put pray melee on. Oh, big ass day, keep it up. I'm getting on Nicky while he's still underneath me. Okay, he's down, he's down. More ranges, more ranges. Go, he's he's gone, he's gone. Go for okay. Vertoso. Southwest, southwest, southwest. Go for Vertoso, uh, southwest. Tanzu, right? Vertoso, okay. Vertoso, I'm Vertoso, focusing, Vertoso. I'm focusing, Vertoso. I'm focusing, catch, I'm focusing for... catch a blitz, catch a blitz. He's blitz, he's blitz, he's blitz. Don't barrage, don't barrage. He's blitz, there you go. Melee, get some melees on him, get some melees on him. I'll up, I'll up, I'll up. Wait, this is a 2v3, you got this, come on. All right, focus Endeavorment, he's completely out. All of you focus Endeavorment. He's like, out. He's dead. Black Mystic. Dead. Kill him. Dead. Right. Dead. Get on Zulu, yeah. get on Zulu, get on Zulu, get on Zulu. Get on Zulu. Get on Zulu. Get on Zulu. The you completely out. Yeah. Stay on Zulu. Everyone stay on Zulu. Stay Freeze. on Zulu. And K1 and walk under. Everyone else on Zulu. That's that. Oh, melee, melee, melee. He's frozen. He's frozen. He's frozen. Okay, he should be gone. There you go. Just pile Tanzu. Pile Tanzu. Dump your spec in him. I'm focusing on What you guys want to do? Catch a freeze on him and then stand underneath him, and then you can just continuously keep hitting he's him. He's frozen, he's frozen, he's frozen. Okay, stand underneath him. Oh, I want his empowered your boat. How do we die to Zulu? One, there one. we go. That was the clutch. We clutched it back. We did Wait, a lot better that time. Yeah, we won. Yes! When we won a game on the European world, I thought we could we have a chance of this. We could potentially, you know, take this home. We lost the first one, but we could, you know, come up and potentially get a uh, a three to one. Why is the engineer on their side? I think it was part my fault for losing the second round, yes. But it was worth it because I managed to kill Jim. Alright, who's sitting out for you guys this one? Uh, I am. Um, where do you want right. to stand? Just from with me right here. I mean, I don't mean to flex here, but we actually decided just to let anyone sit out. We didn't have a strategy with, with someone sitting out. We even had Tanzu and Potoso call for us, and they had never called. America started a war with us, and uh, it, it was up to us to defend the wilderness turf.
round number three, guys. We're on the American servers now. Don't think I don't see you, C Engineer. Fighting Jimmy in a 1v1 in a multi fight. If we end up losing this war because C Engineer decides to go haywire, you're gonna be getting my vote, Tom. Get in your tank gear if you're getting hit right. a lot. Go right, for right. race. Spread seat. out. Go for spread out. Everyone spread out, too. Okay. Low ping is a big advantage in these fights. If we can win this next round, I've got a good feeling we can win today's challenge. Cloud is now back in for Tanzu. The score is one to one. If you win this fight, you're one round away from winning the challenge. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Uh, C Engineer is in the back, so we can switch to Cloud for now. He's in the center. Hit center. Sound in the center. Cloud in center. Cloud center. Cloud center. Cloud center. Hit Cloud in center. All right, we got a freeze on the Endeavorman. Do you want us to switch on to Jimmy? When it comes to PvP, I've got experience with the with the one-on-ones. Clan fighting and, and multi-fighting, that's a different ball game. That is some scary, scary stuff. Because if you've ever tried to tank five people on you at once, it's not a good time. Down Jimmy. Yeah, yeah it's down, okay, it's down Jimmy. 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 Jimmy is right next to all of you. He's protecting melee. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to freeze him, I'm trying to freeze him. I right, oh, caught the freeze on Jimmy. Damage. I caught the yeah, freeze on Jimmy. Make sure you're all still. Oh. He's seeing you. Right, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. He's running. He's running. Oh, Jimmy's gone. Jimmy's I'm out. down, dude. I got fucking. Okay, okay switch. On should we switch to the engineer? Should we stand cloud? Uh, get I'd fap. I'd fap in middle. I'd fap in middle. I'd fap. I'd fap. I'd fap in middle. He's south. He's south. He's south. I'd I'd fap in south. 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 I'd fap in south. I'd fap south. In government. I'm just picking him off the bolt. Everyone in Endeavorman, he's in the middle right now. Endeavorman's in the middle. Everyone in Endeavorman, Endeavorman, right down in the ditch, boys. Endeavorman, in the middle, he's in Mystics. I tanked successfully, I'm still alive. Yeah, so. Everyone in Endeavorman, we gotta kill him, we gotta kill him. Just stay on him. See Engineer South, everyone hit South. See Engineer South, everybody hit See Engineer South. Take him out, he's gotta be gone. He's gotta be gone. Hit See Engineer South. Hit See Engineer South, everyone bolt him. Everyone bolt See Engineer South. I'm, I'm chucking some barrages, I'm chucking some barrages on him. Stay on Endeavorman. Oh, big dead. hits. I'm chucking barrages on Devon. Just range him, just range him, just range him, just range him. That's it. Right, Devon down. Good shit, good shit, good shit. All right, next person. Frame, 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 frame. Just keep hitting C Engineer. I'm probably going to go down here. Hit C Engineer. Kill C Engineer. Kill C Engineer. Kill C Engineer. He's out, he's out. Good stuff. Nikki right next to him. Nikki right yeah, next to him. She's Nikki. frozen. She's frozen. Nikki right next to him. Hit C Engineer. Kill C Engineer. Kill C Engineer. Kill C Engineer. He's, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Good fight, team. Yeah. Okay, right, everyone uh, go cloud, 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 hit cloud, hit cloud, hit cloud, hit cloud. They're focusing me, so I got a, I got a good tank. Hit cloud, hit cloud. They just see that jump. They're focusing you because yeah. you're the only guy left. Oh, I didn't know I was the only person left until I had about one food left. I was just tanking. I thought I was like calling out, they're on me, they're on me, they're on me. And then from the grave, they're like, yeah, because you're the only person alive. And I was, I was just thinking to myself, oh, there goes, there goes that. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, man. Is, are you literally the only guy left? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. All right. Nice job, EU. Another clean 4-0 to zero fight. Team NA, if you guys have a winning strategy, now is the time to pull it out. You guys have five minutes to strategize for the next fight. So I think what we need to do next time is absolutely take out the weakest links first then. We tried that the first time. And, well, we have a better strategy this time. We're going to just take them out faster. Our evolved strategy was going for racy and that's the round we won. Well, I mean, they pulled back and everything though. I don't, I don't know like what evidence you're going with to go for the weakest link. I mean, it literally, what we need to do is just take out the um, the lesser guys first. Yes, the, the round we did when we got Rakesy and everything, but think about it. Like, it was so long um, of them tanking because there are good tanks that we couldn't do sh**. My team, they wanted to keep going with the weak, weak link strategy, taking out the worst of the opposing team. I thought that didn't work the first round, and I think we should have continued with our second strategy, which was to take out Rakesy and C Engineer. I'm going to be completely honest here, Soup. Team and A are a bunch of chickens in this challenge, and over here on Team EU, we're eating all these f***ing chickens. As long as we continue to execute our strategy, I can't see us losing this. Here we go guys, the score is 2-1 to one for Team Europe. If they win this fight, they win the challenge. We came here as six members of the team EU. We still have six members. And if we win this, we are not gonna be taken down to five. Do you know what I say to that, Jen? What do you say, David? Alexa, what is my name? I'm not sure who's speaking. 
<laughs> if you know you're going too far in, just step back. You don't need to be that Jimmy far. and Flutton freeze and then get in your tank gear and bolt the sh out of whoever we're calling at the time. Yep. Okay. I'm ready. Team NA, you have to win this round. Rakes, you will be sitting out for Team EU. Go. Oh, big hits. Oh, this is beautiful, boys. They're not even changing. Oh, big. Going for a spec. Oh, I'll be seeing you. I got I'm done. I'm gone, man. Okay, get on Nikki. Get on Nikki. We hit her in the broad pot. Everybody get on Nikki. Nikki yourself. Nikki yourself. She's my They didn't have a chance. We're winning, guys, by loads. Stay on friend. Everyone on friend. I mean, it was just slaughter. An absolute massacre. Like clockwork. <laughs> we won, boys. We won. Well done, you guys, on finishing another challenge. That was really fun to watch. Unfortunately for Team NA, you guys lost the challenge and will need to nominate one player from your team to go into the banning. Team EU, you will also be nominating one player from Team NA to go into the banning as well. You guys have five minutes to decide. Listen. I don't care who gets voted off. I just think it should be Jimmy because I hate that f guy. <laughs> right. Jimmy's my boy. I love the guy to death, but if I'm being honest, the second that I saw that he was going to be on our team, I knew that the guy was dead weight. So I want him gone. And the sooner that this guy is off the team, the sooner we have a chance of winning. F you, Jimmy. All right. So for real, Jim, I'm voting you. You're voting me. I'm voting you. Who said you could vote me? Yeah, I'm voting. When you. was that ever part? Of, that was never part. No, of the man, plan. you vote me. Never, I vote you. It's how that was never part of the plan, buddy. Dude, nope. can't, cancel culture is coming after you, Jim. You're going Dude. off this team. Dude, the vote <laughs> system is coming after you. I feel like it should be me because I don't think I did anything. Do you want to do the random number generator again? Or yeah, we'll do random number generator again. All right, I can actually yeah, get the. Right, I'll, I'll pull. I'll pull it up. Okay, you got yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, no, that's kind of a cop out. Kevin's gonna pull it up and he's I gonna can... say, "Uh, the number is Jimmy." Guys, I'm RNG is cop out. That's completely against the integrity of this whole Gillenor Games thing. It's not easy choosing to vote somebody off your own team, but if we're serious about winning, we need to make the right choice. I feel like it should be the people that did the worst, and it was me. And bye, bye, Jimmy. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, you care, vote me off. For some reason, God knows why, this man, this this walking menace framed, suggests to everybody that I was the weakest link of this. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I could have stood up for myself, but at that point I had had it. I said, you know what, Kevin? Fine, you get your way, it's cool. And I volunteered. I said, screw it, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I think I, I'd, I'd rather get rid of either Kemp or Framed. I think we should pick out Zulu. Oh, yeah? Thing. A lot of my teammates, they want to vote out Kemp or Framed, but I wanted to vote out Zulu because he is the main PVMer. So moving forward, if we get any PVM challenges, their strongest bet is out. I do too, actually. PVM yeah, he's like the best PVMer. I think Zulu I, I then. I think Zulu, yeah. Yeah, Zulu makes more sense. So do we want, if it was going to come to a 1v1, do we want Zulu in with Kemp Q? And then either way it's a win. And they choose either Kemp or Jimmy, like Zulu's going, so. What if they vote Zulu then? Who's our second? I'd probably say Kemp Q, because Frame's obviously going to win. But if Kemp Q fought Zulu and lost, still a win. Zulu is a very, very high experience player. He's got 200 mil skills, I'm pretty sure. Like, somebody with that mentality knows a lot about the game. And I think from NA's point of view, they're just trying to cut off the dead weight. No offense to Jimmy, but unless there's a trivia which is about quests or something like that, you know, that's just how it is. Welcome back to the second banning of the season. 
Team NA, you lost today's challenge and had to nominate one player from your own team to go into the banning. Who did you guys choose? Soup, it is my honor to inform you that we have thankfully chosen Jimmy for the banning today. Team NA picks Jimmy. Jimmy, come on up, brother. You are the first person chosen for the banning today. Team EU, who are you choosing from Team NA to face Jimmy in the banning? We voted for... Zulu. Ooh, Team Europe picking Zulu as the second person in today's banning. The other team sees me as a strong player, so I'm not surprised they got nominated, but I'd still prefer to be nowhere close to the banning. Big matchup here, guys. Zulu versus Jimmy in the second banning of the season. To fight for your place to stay in the game, you guys will be playing know-it-all. For this elimination, we're not going anywhere. In fact, we're going to stay right here. The only thing you need to do to beat your opponent is simply know more RuneScape trivia. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That's cool RuneScape trivia. If there's one challenge that could level the playing field, it's trivia. PVM, PVP, I'm pretty confident I can win, but trivia is a game changer and that might not be for the best. In know-it-all, each player will be asked five RuneScape trivia questions. The questions will get progressively harder as the round goes on. To win the banning, you just need to make sure you get more questions right than your opponent. If there's a tie after five questions, we'll move into overtime. The player who answers the most RuneScape trivia questions correctly stays in the game. Loser is eliminated. Framed over here, he's been making a lot of snarky comments, and it's just so weird. Like, Framed is like my best friend, and he just, the second things get competitive, he looks at me. I think he wants me killed. But I gotta prove to him that I've got what it takes. I've gotta prove to him that I'm competitive and that I'm worth it. To make it a little bit easier for you guys, I'll make it multiple choice. So you've got three answers to choose from. Jimmy, Zulu, welcome to the second banning of the season. Jimmy, you're up first. Your question is, how many waves are in the minigame, the fight caves? Is it 60, 63, or 66? 63. Final answer? Final answer. That is correct, nice job. Zulu, how many waves are there in the minigame, the Inferno? 66, 69, or 73? 69. Final answer? Final answer. That is also correct. The score is one to one. Back to you now, Jimmy. Who lives in a two-legged walking house on Lunar Isle? Is it Baby Yoda, Baha Yaba, or Baba Yaga? Baba Yaga. That is also correct. Oh, the yeah. quest master. Dude, how did he know that one? He's not at that yeah. place in Fire He doesn't do quests. Yeah, spoilers. He knows his quests. That's too right for Jimmy. Zulu, during which quest do you encounter the giant scarab? Contact, Fight Arena, or The Feud? Contact. Contact is correct. 2-2. Two, two. We're tied up. Trivia on RuneScape is so broad because the game is so deep. There's lots lots of different routes you could take trivia for RuneScape. So I, I think it's anyone's game. Question 3. Jimmy, which of these NPCs can sell you pink dye? Sarah, Betty, or Gertrude? Uh, Sarah? Sarah. Sarah. Dead Sarah. Final answer? That is my final answer. Jimmy? That is incorrect. The answer is Betty. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Jim, that's a pretty, pretty obvious one. But look, I meet so many women on this game. Zulu, you have a chance to take the lead now. Which of these NPCs becomes king during the quest, the Holy Grail? Sir Lancelot, Sir Gawain, or Sir Percival? Uh, I want to say Gawain. Final answer? Final answer. Zulu, you will not be taking the lead this round. The answer is Sir Percival. I was supposed to yeah, yeah, you're Hello, looking at this guy. Round hour, man. I, didn't, I didn't watch the quest guide. Jimmy, your fourth question is, how many potato cacti are needed to protect a Celastra sapling? Six, seven, or eight? Man, six, I don't know, six. Yeah, six. That is also incorrect. The answer is eight. What the f is a cele Celestia Celestris sapling? What the f is that? I've never- Anyone who knows what that- what that is, is a nerd. Zulu, another chance to take the lead. What farming level is needed to plant a banana tree? 27, 33, or 38? 27. 
you are in fact able to plant an apple tree at level 27. A banana tree can be planted at level 33. Your answer is incorrect. Oh, why, why could I not have got that Celastris question? This was my chance to pull ahead of Jimmy and I might've just blown it. All right, guys, the score is two to two. Both of you are now on your final question. If you get this question wrong and the other person gets it right, you're eliminated from the games. If both of you answer correctly, we're heading to overtime. Jimmy, in what guild or pub can Adventurer John be found? The Sheared Ram, Hair of the Dog, or Blue Moon Inn? Hair of the Dog. Dogs have hair, hair of the dog. Sounds good to me, hair of the dog. Is that your final answer? Final answer. Jimmy? I'm sorry, but that is incorrect. The answer is the Sheared Ram in Lumbridge. Jimmy, come on, please. You, you convinced me to put myself in this position, okay? You begged me. <laughs> <laughs> you Man. shut your f***ing mouth. All I need to do is get this question right, and I win. Soup, please give me a question I know the answer to. All right, Zulu. If you get this question right, you win today's banning and send Jimmy home. Your question is, the Anku outfit can be obtained from what tier of clue scroll? Hard, Elite, or Master? Master. Final answer? I'm going to block that in. Final answer. That is correct. Congratulations, you are the winner of today's banning. Oh, thank God I managed to pull through. I'm still in it with a chance to win. I'm sorry, Jimmy, that it had to end this way. I'm going to miss you, man. I'm going to miss you, Jimmy. Zulu, well done on winning. You're still in the game and have a shot to win the final prize. You can go ahead and rejoin Team NA. Jimmy, I'm sorry, man, but you have been eliminated from the Gilinor games. We're going to miss you, brother. Maybe we'll see you again in the future. You know, I knew it was over the second I nominated myself. I'll be honest. Obviously, our team's going to vote the weakest guy. They're going to vote the strongest guy. I was going up against someone who knew what they were doing because the other team wanted that strategy. They were going to get whoever they could off of our team for their benefit. I knew I was gone. You know, I wouldn't want to see a valuable asset like Zulu representing us down for the count. So at the end of the day, I knew I had to sacrifice myself to bring down EU once and for all. I, that's the most noble I've ever felt. Honestly, if we win the next challenge, I don't see the point in going to the next one after that. It's like, it's done. If they lose one more, I'm confident in the fact that we will not lose a single one after the next one. I think it takes a devastation to really turn something around. And our team definitely needed a big turnaround, a complete 180. And I hope losing an asset like me fuels the fire in our teammates so that they can go on and win a challenge. At least we gotta win one. Come on, these guys aren't that cool. Just win one. Well, there you have it, guys. The second week of Gilnor Games is complete. Team NA, you're down to four players. If you guys don't pull it together, EU is going to walk away with this competition. Make sure you guys bring your sneakers for next week. I'll see you soon.